Right, welcome back guys to another episode. And this one is a little different and we're homeless. Yes, well, we're not completely homeless. No, we've we got the truck. <laughs> we've still got the truck, but our van is sold. It's the first time in six years of traveling we do not have a caravan. Yeah, feel, feels a bit weird. Yeah, and we will not have a caravan for another three or four weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, fun for you, maybe not for us, Ollie. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be living out of the rooftop tent in Susie behind us, getting to some spots we normally won't be able to get to with the van. Yeah, hopefully. But this episode is a bit different because we're going to show you a bit of a recap um, of our lives in the past couple of weeks. It's just been hectic, and that's why last week we didn't have a proper video out. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take you back to the Melbourne show. So we flew over to Melbourne. And it was the first time the boys had been on an aeroplane. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll take you back there and then we'll meet you right back here at the end of all that footage. And uh, we'll explain a little bit about our life update and where we go. And where we go from here. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. <Ollie. laughs> so. At this point, we're in Perth, and the show we're attending was in Melbourne, over the other side of the country. Now the van and our truck is home, and our happy place. Planes, Uber rides, and cities is a whole different world for us, and at times it just seems a little bit stressful. So the first hurdle in our cross-country dash is to stall our whole setup and make our way to the airport. He's got to keep coming, he's got to keep coming back all the way there. There's a lot of first this episode. Yeah, and we're a bit sad we've got to leave the big girl here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Suze. <laughs> Isn't it funny like how your cars become like family? This is de this is our home, so leaving our home is quite difficult. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is all we know. <laughs> Sit here for a bit and <laughs> cry. <laughs> no, only joking. So we're gonna drop the um, truck and the van off here. And then we're going to head to a hotel for the night. Everything's dropped off now. Nick's just um, giving them the keys. So now I've got to try and organise an Uber for us all. I don't know. I've never really used it, so I don't know what I'm doing. Might have to get... Maybe get a big one. I think we can, we probably could fit nine minutes away. They don't need a car seat, so I'm a bit on edge. <laughs> so yeah, Ollie will sit on my knee and the boys will sit in the back of me and Nick can sit up the front and be awkward. He's nearly here. Are you excited? The boys have never been in an Uber or a taxi, so they were super excited. They continue to surprise us, these little fellows, and how they can just adapt to any situation they're put in. You'll never guess the places that I've been. Oh, Uber driver was pretty good then, eh? It was awesome. And it was the best I, one we've ever had. I have to tell you, did you hear Finn in the car? No. I was teaching him like him and her. Don't and um, he was, so, I was saying that boys have <laughs> and girls <laughs> and um, Finny goes, well, Dad has a big <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even hear it. Finny, that's not true, mate. <laughs> I wish. Dad, Dad, you've got the big one. <laughs> yeah, not no, no boy, mate. Baby. Yeah, thank you. Good work. Yeah, high five. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you're probably thinking last time you seen us, we were way down south of WA coastline. We pretty well had to boot it up to Perth over the last couple of days. And this is our home for the night. <laughs> what? What's the bed? It won't work. Or I've got the wrong room. Isn't it? Oh, oh look at that. We got a complimentary Vicky. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah I made sure it was complimentary. Look at that. This is a good, good bed. <laughs> this is like probably the cheapest, <laughs> the cheapest uh, motel room we could get for tonight. <laughs> what can you do? What can it's you do? Nah, the mayhem begins. <laughs> We have literally just spent about an hour trying to decide what to eat. Anyway, we ended up going to Pizza Hut and we got the deal, which is three pizzas for $35. Then we added a drink, but then we ended up somehow only just spending $15 for three pizzas, a drink and potato gems because we just, I don't know how we did it. But anyway, we paid $15 for it. <laughs> Winning! So we thought we'd do a family thing and go and pick up the Uber Eats out the front of the hotel <laughs> together. And then we were just locked out of our like hotel for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so and it is so hot in Perth right now, like so hot. Anyway, we're in. We're having pizza on the floor. What a good what a good night, eh? Pizzas don't last long in our family. And with an early flight to Melbourne tomorrow, everyone hit the sack. Play bedtime! Bedtime! <laughs> Where are you, Nick? <laughs> Where are you sleeping? <laughs> all, that, all the way down there. Mom! The challenge is, well, the adventure starts today. We actually have to catch a shuttle bus to the airport. There's a free one here, which is good. So that's our first adventure. And then we've got to check in. Well, we made it through screening. <laughs> you don't get out much, do you boys? <laughs> of course our flight got delayed, so we bunkered down on those comfy airport chairs and just waited for our turn. How you going big boy? That was a dollar per mouthful there. <laughs> we just got reamed. <laughs> We made it. So we've made it to Melbourne. Good flight. Ollie slept for most of it. On me, didn't you, big fella? Yeah, and then you were running around everywhere. And we have the loveliest people surprise us in Melbourne. They'll know who they are. And um, we're picking up this and then we're going to our accommodation. It's like five o'clock here in Melbourne. Um, it's like a three hour time difference. Alenia's just doing the rounds, filming the car so we don't get jibbed with a little scratch, you know, like. Um. And then we've got about four or five days to the show and we're just going to bring you along for the ride. We don't really know what we're doing, to be honest. I think we're going to the caravan factory tomorrow. And um, you might be able to see the, the new van, so. Get in there, get every little detail. <laughs> every little detail. I'm not getting jibbed for nothing. I know. Kids did well on the plane, eh? Yeah, they did. I, I was stoked. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I can breathe a little bit now. We're here and we've got everything. It's just like ticking it off today, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, everything's just ticking off. And like, we haven't really talked about it, but before this week, our workload's like about doubled. Um, so it's been a very stressful time for us. Um, but anyways, it's all good. We're on the um, the downward slope to the show now, so it should be all smooth sailing. <laughs> How does it feel? So weird. The windscreen's <laughs> so small compared to the truck. <laughs> and it's quite fast compared to the truck. <laughs> We're in eco mode, so it's... <laughs> the brakes are a bit more touchy. Don't take as long to slow down, that's for sure. This could be a fun trip through the Melbourne city. This is a go-kart, this thing. <laughs> Well, wow. <laughs> we 
We haven't had a chance to scratch ourselves lately, and no. it's actually the last day of the show today. It actually sounds like you're losing your voice. Oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we've been doing talks and talking to everyone at the show, and we thought we should show a bit of behind the scenes. Yeah, so. it is just full on, like from get go, because we like we'll come back and we'll look after the boys too. Yeah. But we're really like lucky that Nick's parents came down and looked after the boys while we're at the show because the they just mayhem. tear the place apart. <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're on our way to the show now. You might even get a sneaky look at our caravan. Oh, maybe. Yeah, our new one. Sorry. Um, and we'll show you a little bit before the chaos starts. <laughs> So we're here at 8.30 and what we do, just go around our van, just unlock it, open it. But this is it. This is the new thing. I'm not going to go through too much because we don't actually get it for another month. But 20 foot 9, it's a um, new length, new model. And then inside, pretty cool. Eleni will be spewing I'm doing this without her, but I don't even know where she's gone. And this van is very, very cool. Everything is controlled by this little iPad-y Garmin thing here. So that's all I'm gonna show you for now. Um, but yeah, so 8.30 now, we've got a, an hour of getting ready. The gates open at 9.30 and when that happens, everyone comes in, everyone starts looking at vans and um, you know, people come and see us. But um, yeah, we've got to find Alenia. But essentially, this is it. Get Here she is, I was just showing everyone our caravan. Oh, what did you say about it? I said we can't show you too much because we don't actually get it for another month. No, which is sad. <laughs> but we are setting up today, hence the string. Yep, all the merch. The show is done. We are done and we have just packed up the um, Airbnb that we were staying at. We are so tired. But it's pack up day, we've got a flight today, later today, so we've got to get the car back. Get everyone to the airport, everything checked in. Then back to Perth. Back to Perth and sell our caravan. Yep. So <laughs> we'll probably see you in Perth because we're, we're busted. <laughs> <laughs> Wish us luck. Anyway, that is sort of behind the scenes of what actually goes into like attending a show, especially traveling. Yeah, yeah. It takes about probably roughly two weeks out of our um, not that it matters, we don't have a time limit, but it is, we love doing it because we get to meet everyone that follows the adventure and we love that aspect of it. Yeah, and we have met, we at the Melbourne show, we met so many beautiful people. Yeah. Like, it was awesome. Yeah, it was, it was very good. So thank you for everyone that come down and said hello. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, we do, we really do. Yeah, um, but in saying that, the show and everything is pretty full on and it does take a does take its toll on us. Yeah. So we did have Nick's parents there looking after the boys, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, and like, we're really grateful that we have really good parents that can come down and help out um, when we have like shows and stuff. Um, but yeah, the show was really good, really draining. Yeah. <laughs> it was a full on time getting back to Perth. Um, in regards to like the time zones, that was really difficult. It was. Um, yeah. Everyone was sort of shifted. <laughs> and then after that, Elena flew straight to Brisbane because your sister had a newborn, it was the Gavo. Yeah, so yeah, unfortunately we all couldn't go over, so um, I had a bit of respite <laughs> for two <laughs> nights. So I flew to Brisbane and then flew back and yeah, it was sort of full on again from there because we had to get the van ready, so trying to clean out a caravan, our home. Yeah, we had so much crap. We did, we really did. How you get so much crap in such a Jack, little... Jack, you got a little hammer down there? Uh, no, <laughs> no Jack didn't have hammer. a hammer down there. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a caravan park, yeah, we're... in a cabin, because after we sold the van yesterday, I said to Nick, I am done. I just need <laughs> just three days to recoup and get ready to go on the rooftop town. Yeah, so we're recouping and then we're So yeah, we um, spent the big bucks in a cabin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, Melbourne was good, all that sort of thing. So where we go from here, 
um, a bit of a life update for us. We got three days in a cabin. cabin. We're going to sort our lives out, get a bit of um, editing and all that sort of thing done. Um, and then we jump in the rooftop with the boat on the back. And we go for an adventure. Yeah. We don't know where we're going. Yeah. I had a quick look the other day. <laughs> Did you? There's some spots you can't get with the caravan that we're going to nail. Yeah. And, um, and then just travel in the rooftop, just slug it out for a little bit, uh, for three weeks. And then we've got... Is it three weeks? I think so. I think it's actually a little bit less. Okay. Yeah. It's... Because on the 15th, actually, we go to an Airbnb because my parents are coming over. Oh, that's right. Um, to look after the boys. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 to come over and we get to see, spend some time with them. And then later on, um, at the end of the month, is the Perth Caravan and Camping Show that we will be going to. Yeah, so if you want to um, say hello to us if you're in Perth or WA, we'll be at the Perth Caravan Show and the new van will be on display there. Yeah. And hopefully, across <laughs> these little thingies, <laughs> We get to take that new van after the show. <laughs> yeah, because we're having a bit of trouble actually, aren't we? Yeah, just registering it, you know, obviously because we're from New South Wales. Anyway, but I think we've got it sorted. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, so hopefully you'll see us in a brand new caravan soon. Yeah, which will be good. And then once we get our dirty little mitts on that caravan, um, we're heading straight back down south. We're just too slow um, to book Exmouth and all those spots. Yeah, but still, we haven't done any really any. We haven't barely touched it. No, nah, we haven't touched the south um, west because we just have to rush to get to Perth to fly to Melbourne. Yeah, which sucks. Yeah, so we're just gonna go back and just redo it all um, and redo it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, that's sort of what we know so far. <laughs> yeah, and look, that could change, but that's all we've got planned so far. We know a general direction. We don't know any spots really. No, um, we don't. But yeah, and then we'll probably be in WA for a while. Yeah, I reckon. Because yeah. it's huge. It is huge. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. We'll start rambling on. Start rambling, that's enough of our... That was a bit of an update, a bit of a different thing, so you can actually see behind the scenes of what actually goes on in regards to a show and life in general. And I think it's important to note that we actually don't show too much when you're on the road it's not all sunshine and rainbows you do miss out on some stuff in regards to family which like my sister had a baby and i couldn't be there obviously so trying to take time out and time plan to meet up is another big thing when you're on the road yeah it? yeah it all um it's all heightened i guess yeah everything's heightened yeah yeah anyway Anyway. Thanks for sticking <laughs> with us. Um, the travel um, videos will continue next week. Yes. Uh, we'll be in the rooftop. Um, We're keen to get back out there. We really are. Yeah. We love the shows, don't get us wrong, but we've missed travel. we've missed getting out there and just doing us. Like yeah. This. We're going back to basics. Tinny, rooftop, truck. Give. Done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Do you want to wave, Holly? See you, Holly. Say bye. <laughs> Too busy eating. <laughs> <laughs>